how do you see it potentially changing future, uh, and this is speculative, but future ideas around dead bodies? So I think what has been so interesting from my perspective, um, from the beginning of lockdown when the restrictions came in, we were really worried that people would dismiss funerals altogether, that actually this was an opportunity just to get rid of them. Um, funeral directors have, some sorry, funeral directors have behaved appallingly over the last 15 years. They were called out by the Competition and Markets Authority in a report that's been formed over the last couple of years. Um, and this was an opportunity to just say, actually, the system's not working. We don't want funerals anymore. Let's just go to direct cremation and direct burial and, and not bother with the expense of, and the fast of funerals anymore. And actually, that's not what happened. Um, people were outraged that they would potentially not be able to be there when the person was cremated or buried, they really wanted to be there and they wanted to hold some kind of ceremony. And that was really refreshing to watch. Um, and what was also amazing was how people managed to make something really meaningful out of what essentially were very limited and restricted services. And many people were really relieved that they got to dispense with all of the extra paraphernalia around funerals and didn't have to sort of cater to a huge event with potentially over 100 people who all had different expectations, but could do something really small, really intimate and really meaningful. And I really hope that the essence of that um, doesn't get lost as we kind of, well, I don't know where we are at the moment because one minute the restrictions are easing and then the next minute we might be back to really restricted funerals again with under 10 people. Um, so I don't know where it's going to go, but I hope some of that emphasis on the actual emotional aspects of the funeral and how you can make it meaningful isn't lost and we can dispense with some of the sort of noise around funerals and, and all of the opportunities for funeral directors to make huge amounts of profit um, on things which aren't necessarily um, necessary.